Feaksters. Hope your day is going fabulously. Today's video is going to be a ASOS haul. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Labor Day weekend is here and it's one of the best sale times, okay, in the fall season. So I had to come on here and share some of my picks with you guys. Now, I'm kind of filming this a little bit differently and yes my background is a little different because if you're following me on Instagram you know that I moved yay for more space I did film a couple of videos that I have not put up yet on my um in my at my old place that will come after haul weekend is over by the way if you don't know we do something around here called haul weekend so all weekend that's my fake New Yorker accent there's gonna be two additional hauls after this video so make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those notifications yes notification sis um so you know when i put up um videos if we're meeting for the first time hi my name is chi chi and i'm the vlogger behind suppleshoot.com and suppleshoot tv here on youtube where we make fashion beauty and lifestyle content so if you love hauls lookbooks styling videos Yes, sis, you are in the right place. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Okay, so um, somebody is supposed to be coming to meet me, so I have to do this in a hurry. I have this huge bag from ASOS for you guys. So the first item, first of all, was I believe listed as mustard on ASOS's website. And when I was looking at it, I was like, this is not mustard, this looks orange. So I've become a huge fan of these ribbed, I think they're very 90s, this is very 90s, of these ribbed, um, really uh, uh, long sleeve shirts. I especially like them when they have like the little sort of like ruffles around the um, sleeves and the edges. I picked this up from the straight side of ASOS in a size for size 16 actually and I got the tall version because don't you just love it when your sleeves stick out in the winter it just adds that cozy factor to everything so I got this from the tall version because you guys know I am 5'7 so I'm short tall um but yeah I picked this up again this was listed as mustard it is not mustard it's more like a tangerine color if anything else I believe if it wasn't mustard, it was yellow. Basically, they called it a yellow and it looks orange and it is definitely orange in real life. Sometimes like you're like, maybe the camera is making it pick up orange, it's orange in real life. So typically, I try on the clothes before I actually film the video so I can give you guys more in depth like on fit and stuff like that. But because of the way this video is going out today, I am going to actually film the try on afterwards. So please pay attention to the subtitles in this video. So if there's anything amiss about the fit, I'll be able to let you know. And you know, blazers really, do they ever go out of style? They don't ever go out of style. They've never gone out of style. But this season, um, men's wear, like really boxy dad blazers are very, very in. And um, belted boxy dad blazers are even more in so anyways i saw that asos was doing a great sale on this one so i grabbed it it is in a navy not navy gray color gray pinstripe this is my second pinstripe blazer in a month um and i picked this up so it's supposed to be oversized it has shoulder pads um the works and this is from the curve section and i got it in a size 16 just because i knew it was going to be oversized and i have slim shoulders so i wasn't really trying to go up to a size 18. now a hack for these dad blazers is really just to go to the thrift store if you have a decent thrift store in your neighborhood you could check that out and just shop the men's section but if you don't want to do that for whatever reason maybe you don't like you know buying people's old clothes um then asos has a good selection in some fun colors as well so of course i'll link it down below but i picked this up in a size 16 okay and um as far as weight it's not too heavy um it does have shoulder pads built in i can see that here um it has these um pinstripes as you guys can see as well it is double breasted yep it is double breasted and then it has these type of like faux turtle shell buttons like so 
So one of the, another trend that's super big for this year, I feel like this is making a trend video already, but one of the bigger trends um, for fall is the color pistachio. It's kind of like that weird um, sea foam kind of green. Um, it's kind of like a muted pastel green color and it's huge for fall. So I saw this shirt on ASOS and it was giving me sea foam vibes. So I picked it up. It's listed as khaki. And this is just like their standard t-shirt on ASOS. I got this in a size 18. I don't know why I did that. I should have gotten this in a 16. Um, but you guys will see how it fits. It's kind of lightweight. Um, has a little bit of, let me see. Has a tiny, tiny bit of stretch to it. Um, and it is a crew neck. And I really like crew neck t-shirts because I like it because I like to layer my necklaces as you can see. And I like the way um, necklaces look layered over crew neck shirts. All right. So continuing on with that sea foam color. Now this I believe is a true sea foam. I saw this sweater, not sweater, I saw this. Y'all, I am having so much anxiety right now because I am rushing and hoping that I can get through this video for you guys. So I saw this scarf on ASOS. It's relatively affordable, under 20. I thought it was a fun way. If you want to incorporate trends, but you don't really want to go crazy, you don't want to buy into it a lot, accessories are your best way. And I actually plan to pair these two together, but as you can see, they're not quite the same green. Um, my idea was to like, throw a moto jacket on top of this one and then throw this on top. I don't know, I'll try it and see what it looks like. But this is definitely the pistachio color that is all over for or fall this year. All right, so of course it wouldn't be a fall haul if I didn't really delve into the knits, right? I saw this gorgeous cream colored sweater I sweater dress so I have one sweater dress from ASOS that I absolutely love it's in like a khaki green very heavy so when I saw that they had another um t-shirt dress I was like not t-shirt dress oh my god another um sweater dress I had to jump on it so I saw this really oversized chunky knit sweater dress it has um a mock neck it has full balloon style sleeves and I thought this would be perfect paired with like over the knee boots um, and like a brown or cognac or even like a deep burgundy color or even like a khaki green color. Oh my God, Zara has these boots. But your girl got some wide calves, okay? She got some wide calves, so I know there's no way those boots would fit me, but this would that would be perfect with this, okay? Anyways, I saw this and I had to get grab it, okay? I feel like all the trends that are coming in for this fall are just like such dot trends, but knits definitely a big trend for fall as well. And I'm gonna stop talking about fall trends because I do not want to give away my next video, okay? I don't know if you guys can see the color difference. They're not a perfect pairing. This is more of like a warm, um, beige color and this is more of like a cool beige color but this jacket was also on the website and it was also on a great sale like more than half off so i was just like you know what i don't actually need a check jacket uh -huh. i don't actually need a check jacket because i do have like a um a check trench coat but i thought because it's on such a great sale. So I thought, why not grab it? Now I've been lucky shopping for coats in the non plus size section. My One of my favorite coats is from ASOS and is a size 14. So I know that their coats tend to run with a little bit of room. For me, the biggest issue I have would be my arms because they're quite chunky. So this is an A size US 14 and this is what it looks like. Um, right off the bat it's created in kind of like a trench coat style but this is definitely more of a wool but it's not a super heavy wool it's actually kind of lightweight so it's a perfect sort of like transitional coat from like fall to winter again depending on where you live like a coat like this i could probably see myself wearing here where i live 
into like November, December because it doesn't really get super cold until like towards the end of December, early January and February here where I live. So it has epaulettes as you guys can see built in. I hope you can see it. And then it also has a belt to cinch in that waist because you know you got to keep that shape cinching the waist is the business and i've said it several times you know you have to okay it just upgrades whatever you have on instantly and this coat looks like it's cut well and it also looks like again it has a belt in so you can really help you create the silhouette you're looking for um the belt the coat also features these Uh, what? You're talking to yourself. No, I'm filming. Oh, I'm calling you since you refuse to answer. Uh, what do you need? So the jacket features also these turtle shell buttons as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's also a, I guess you could say it's a double breasted silhouette as well. This looks to be about around knee length. Um, and as I was just showing you guys this coat, my mom comes in here. She's like, ooh, that coat's cute. Can I have it? So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really cute coat. It also features this detail here as well around the cuff. So it has a lot of like trench coat flourishings about it. It's supposed to be a standard coat, but it's basically cut and styled like a uh, like a trench coat. It has a wind flap in the front like a trench coat. So if you're looking for something again that will give you some shape, okay, that's very chic, perfect for work, perfect for church, even perfect for the weekends because I love that look of, you know, putting on a very sophisticated jacket with like sweats because you so you look kind of cool and chic or like to the airport but you have sweats on that's a cute look I think anyway um, the last item is going to be this oh oh I love this shirt so much as soon as I saw it on the website I was like come to me come to me come to me Hercules Hercules okay let me stop um but anyways it is this um, it's just like a it's like a standard white button down but made very now because it has puffy sleeves you know puffy sleeves exaggerated sleeves are a very very now right now um, they're very on trend for right now and I thought it's a fun way to kind of like update your workwear you know um, so instead of like going for your traditional like long sleeve button down shirt, you know, throw on a shirt like this and it's perfect for that. But because it's very on trend and very now, you can also sort of like wear it in other ways. You can pair with a pair of jeans, you know, and some boots, uh, for hanging out with friends, you know, so you can do so much more with it. And I just love that about it. It has a standard collar. And as far as weight, I would say it's a mid-weight fabric. Um, it has a cottony feel to it. Um, again, buttons all the way down. And I like the fact that the buttons are hidden. So that also adds like style points as well. It also makes it look a little bit more expensive, a little bit more chic. I'm sorry guys about the color shifting. One day, I will be a proper content creator and learn how to work this camera so I can keep the color the same throughout the video. I have my eye on this blue suit. Actually, I'm saying I have my eye. I'm about to um, get it. Um, so it's a fun suit. You guys, when I shot the yellow suit from Eloquii a couple of years ago, it was such a hit. Colored suits are so now. Great way to kind of like have fun with your work wear. And, and, it's, and suits, honestly, nowadays are not just for work, you know. And a link to every single thing that I mentioned in this video will be down below. Plus, I may add a few other pieces that were on or are on my wish list. Like, if you've come this far, that means you must have loved the video. So why don't you subscribe, right? And read my blog, suppleshik.com. Um, let me know in the comments below which of these pieces were your favorite. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on those notifications too. Yes, sis, turn on those notifications. Um, until next time, stay blessed.
I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled, 